So the basis of the sweep program through CDFA is twofold. One is to increase the energy efficiency and the other is to increase irrigation or water use efficiency. So making upgrades to the pump or making upgrades to the irrigation system from older inefficient systems to newer, more modern systems where the distribution uniformity or the DU of the newer systems are much higher than the older systems. There are four broad opportunities for applying to the SWEEP program. Um, one is changing your pump from an older pump, maybe a diesel pump, to an electric pump. What is required by the SWEEP program is, for, is to have a um, pump inspector come out and test the efficiency rating on the pump. And if those pumps are older and the efficiency ratings are a little bit low, they'll qualify for upgrades to pumps that are newer. And one big incentive for SWEEP for upgrades to pumps is to put in what's called a variable frequency drive, or they're known as VFDs. And these variable frequency drive pumps allow you to ramp up and down the speed and change the pressure and flow rates in these systems based on the size of the orchard, the type of irrigation system. If you already have maybe an efficient pump that's running off of electric, um, one of the things you can do to add to the efficiency of that pump or add to the decreased energy use is by um, putting in a solar array. Um, as far as irrigation, changing older inefficient irrigation systems to more efficient systems with high distribution uniformity rates. This orchard we're standing in right now is the the best example of changing from a flood irrigated orchard to a micro sprinkler. Um, there's all different kinds of sprinkler systems where you can change from an older system to upgrades where maybe the infrastructure is okay and just the sprinklers or the nozzles need to be replaced and upgraded. The last one would be scheduling, so putting in weather stations so you can measure the evapotranspiration rate of the crop or soil moisture monitoring so you can see what uh, um, soil moisture in certain areas of the orchard are doing to help aid in determining scheduling rates. So how long to run a system, um, how often and how long to run it um, per week or per month or per season. What we're looking at here is a soil moisture monitoring station. And this is helping the grower determine how dry or wet the soil is and helps them determine if they need to run the sprinkler system or not. You'll also notice up there at the top it has a radio transmitter. So that transmitter goes to some soil moisture monitoring software program so the grower has access to all this information on their cell phone. So not only are they monitoring what's going on in the soil, they're also monitoring what's happening in the atmosphere and the air around the orchard so they can tell precisely what the evapotranspiration or what the ET of their crop is in this specific location 